So John Kreese being as much of a Darth Vader in the karate world. We see John in Star Wars and like redeem himself a couple times during the show and then he reverts back because of insecurities. So are you going to be a hindrance to that or are you going to, I don't know, what do you think? I, I am neither a hindrance or a, a supporter. Um, there are changes that go on in the script, in each script, where we're, we have a love affair and where we eventually hate each other and then when maybe we have a love affair again. It goes like this, because these two characters are flawed characters. And like in any good relationship, you just are at each other's throats or you're making love, you know? And, and that's what they've written, which is so amazing, which is why there's so many viewers, because they've written things that we go through in life, emotions we go through. So John Kreese being as much of a Darth Vader in the karate world, you know, the, the, venge <laughs> the vengeful villain, he still does have a soul, and he still has a respect for the things that mean something to him, that probably should mean a little bit more to Johnny Lawrence. That's all I can say. Well, Kreese is done. I mean, he's a, he's a if he's letting Crease back into his life with one eye open and a short leash. Uh, he doesn't need Crease for nothing. In fact, he mostly needs him to leave. <laughs> at, the, at the same time, he has No, no, not at all. But, uh, you know, Johnny's giving himself a second chance, and he's talking about everybody else getting a second chance. So, you know, he's going to maybe apply that a little bit to his old sensei, even though he maybe can't trust him all the way. And maybe that's going to be good and maybe that's going to be a disaster. We'll see. So how do you feel the movie is going to be out of theaters 35 years later? How does that make you feel? Well, you know, I, I took all three discs with me to Atlanta and I watched, I wanted to see my body language because these, these characters, these writers are so astute. They wouldn't let me do like this until a certain scene in a certain episode. I couldn't put my hands in here like, you know, and they, they're so astute with all of it. So I watched my body language. I wanted to see where this character was so stoic. And he was stoic through everything. Whether his students won, they lost, he showed a little bit of emotion, but there's no emotion to John Kreese in those films. Because it was, because it was basically almost cartoonish. I was, let's put it this way, that was told to me, one day I was doing the commentary for Wyatt Earp, a picture I had done, with Costner and the commentary, the man said, in reference to Karate Kid, he said that the light would not have shone so bright if the dark side wasn't as dark. And to me, that was quite, quite astute, you know? So in essence, in the movies, I was really dark. In this episode, in this season, is an evolution. Not to say he's angelic. It's an evolution. Uh, Martin was talking about how you didn't let him do his typical... <laughs> <laughs> Until the right moment. I mean, that's just precision. He has very powerful uh, body language. Yeah. You know, in that first movie, you know, he, he does this with his, his finger. He shakes his finger. You know, he tucks his fingers into his belt. He crosses his arms. But it's the grabbing the, you know, the lapel of the gi that really is kind of, you know, if he's the cobra, that's when the hood yeah. comes up. If he's the lion, that's when, you know, the, the, the hairs on your arm, you know, you know, start to prickle because he's ready to pounce, he's in charge. And, uh, and you know, we have to make sure that his reintroduction into this world uh, makes sense. Like, is he ever in charge? Like, does he ever earn that kind of, uh, that kind of body language?